Hi, this is Kelly Shabari with Hot Movies for Her, and this is 6.9 Questions with... Tristan Taramino. Hello, Tristan. Hi. How are you? Good. You've had a very long day. A very long day that started about 12 hours ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, your whole project started like years ago. So. Yes. Um, how did you get into this business? I came to porn through sex education. I wrote a book called The Ultimate Guide to Anal Sex for Women, and I wanted to make a movie based on the book. I knew I wanted it to be educational, but I also knew I wanted it to have really explicit sex. And once there's explicit sex, you're in porno land. So I shopped the project around, everyone said no to me, and then one person changed their mind. John Stalliano from Evil Angel. He gave me my first shot, he shot my very first movie, The Ultimate Guide to Anal Sex for Women. It came out in 2000, and the rest is history. That's fantastic. Um, if you weren't doing this, and I can't really imagine you not doing this, but if you were not, what do you think you'd be doing? Well, when I was growing up, I, I thought about being like all different things. Like, what would my career be? What would my job be? And I really wanted to be either a solid gold dancer, or a school teacher. And so I think probably since Solid Gold is off the air, I would be a school teacher. That's amazing. I now have a vision of you as a Solid Gold <laughs> dancer or as a fly girl from Living Color. Maybe, yeah. Both of those are still kind of cool. Um, you've obviously shot a bazillion movies and they're all amazing. Um, what is the funniest thing that's ever happened on set? And did you ever keep it on camera or did you edit it out? Well, lots of funny things happen in my movies and I have them all on camera, but there's something that was never recorded for posterity. And it's not funny like a blooper. It's funny in a heartwarming, heartwarming kind of way, which is that for my second movie, The Ultimate Guide to Anal Sex for Women 2, Nina Hartley did all the catering on that film and she cooked everyone custom made breakfast sandwiches to order. Wow. And did she perform the same day? No. She, she was just, just came there. By? She was there on location and she cooked breakfast sandwiches for everyone. And she's Nina fucking Hartley. What did she cook? I had like an egg and cheese on a roll. And that's, some other people had some bacon. That's fantastic. Well, bacon is amazing. Uh, <laughs> that's my little plug for bacon. Okay. I'm surprised nobody else has brought it up this entire day. Um, uh, let's see. Obviously, you do a line of sex education videos. What is something that is almost like a running theme, like, you know, for, for couples or even singles who are, like, out there dating when it comes to relationships or sex? What's the one thing? I mean, I feel like the best advice that I can give, especially to women, is that we need to take charge of our own pleasure and our own orgasms. If you don't know what you like and what gets you off, and if you can't get yourself off, then it's too tall of an order to ask someone else to do it. So when people say, how do I become a better lover? I say it starts with you. You need to masturbate. You need to get in touch with your own sexuality. And then you can bring all that information to sex with a partner. Very, very cool. Um, what is the biggest misconception about like sex workers in general? I think there are way too many misconceptions about sex workers, mostly that they're all desperate or stupid or drugged out. And the thing is, in my experience, I've met straight edge sex workers, I've met sex workers with advanced degrees, I've met sex workers who could be stand up comics, I've met sex workers who are amazing actors. I feel like there is just as much variety in the sex worker community as there, in, as there is in a lot of other industries. We just don't see enough of the real stories of how sex workers came to be. I think the mainstream media just loves to see the people who've been destroyed and traumatized. We don't see the people who have a good head on their shoulders, who are happy, and who have gone into it with some real plans and forethought. Right. And this is uh, the last question, and we've obviously been spending an awesome amount of time here in Toronto for the Feminist Porn Awards and the Feminist Porn Conference. It's the first time ever. Um, what makes you 
a feminist? It's, it's kind of like a duh kind of question because it's, it's you and you are like, you know, feminist porn book, feminist porn conference, Tristan Tarmino. But what makes you a feminist? I'm a feminist because I believe that we need to challenge all sorts of stereotypes and tropes around gender, race, class, sexuality, ableism. We need to fight for more equality and more social justice. There needs to be more justice in this world. And it starts, I think, with all of us identifying as feminists. Fantastic. Where can we find you? And obviously you have the Feminist Porn book. So where can we find the book? You can find me at my site, PuckerUp.com, which is not safe for work. And you can find out all about the book at TheFeministPornBook.com. And are you on Twitter? And I'm at Twitter at Tristan Taramino. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And I know, I think that we have uh, the Tristan Taramino guides on hot movies for her. You do. And so people can find you there too? They can find my Vivid Headline, you can find my Chemistry Reality Series, and you can find Rough Sex, which is based on real female fantasies of kink and BDSM, all on hotmoviesforher.com. Cool. Thank you so much, Tristan. Thanks. <laughs>